Okay, this is just time for the next A to Z mini work. My thoughts, ideas, changes, so on and so forth. Okay, Eternals. Yes, the usual. I don't have them, obviously. I don't play Pike. Physical damage, mostly ability. A difficulty too. I would all agree with. I'd agree with all of this. Um, I guess mobility three, crowd control three, because he has a slower knock up and a stun, and he can move fast and he has a dash. Um, I kind of agree with the fact that he only has a damage too because out of all the you know assassins he really doesn't do that much damage compared to them but at the same time you know he has an execute that is very big it's it's not like it's a little XP. it's like 10 percent of your hp and you're dead so eh. a renowned harpooner from the slaughter docks of bilgewater pike should have met his death in the belly of a gigantic Jaw, uh, fish, and yet he returned. Now stalking the dank alleys and backways of his former hometown, he uses his new supernatural gifts to bring a swift and gruesome end to those who make their fortune by exploiting others. And a city that prides itself on hunting monsters now finds a monster hunting them. Which honestly, I really do like his lore. I think it's not really that in depth, honestly, but I do think it is cool his abilities so gift of the drowned ones when pike is a hidden from enemies he regenerates damage that he has recently taken from champions pike also cannot gain extra maximum health from any source and instead gains bonus ad i hate this about him honestly i really truly wish that i could build more health on him because it makes him the squishiest little thing like even zed or something could build like a black cleaver and hey they they took a very squishy assassin high mobility assassin to a less squishy high mobility assassin but now you are always a very squishy high mobility assassin and it's kind of understandable because of how much cc you have plus your execution but at the same time it's very annoying for these facts of what i was saying like i just you can't build any tank items on him you just want to build straight damage and as fun as that is for one shotting purposes it's also not too much fun when you get one shot Okay, then we have Bone Skewer. Pike either stabs an enemy in front of him or pulls an, uh, an enemy towards him. Uh, so if you just tap the button, you just jab forward and do the little slash. Or if you hold the button, then you can charge it up and actually pull the enemy to you. The set, the, the distance is always the same, and you know once you stab, it also slows. Uh, I really do like this ability about him. It's the only poke he really has, and it's uh, like one ability that I would say kind of... Um, it becomes very useful and it's your main damage really so ghost water dive pike enters a camouflage and gains significant movement speed that decays over time i hate how much this movement speed decays honestly i'm not gonna lie i, I really do wish that the movement speed wasn't as large of a decay as it is it, it seems like you go from moving at the speed of sound to not moving at all at a rapid rate it, it really is really really quick um so i would like kind of like that to be extended but you know uh, Phantom Undertow. Pike dashes and leaves behind a phantom that will return to him. Stunning enemy champions along his path. I love this ability. I, I honestly, I think this ability is really unique and really cool. And I, I find it fantastic that he has it. Uh, and I would keep it exactly the same. Because this, this ability and your Q is what really make Pike Pike, in my opinion. The W... I really don't like all that much, to be completely honest, but the Q and E and his R is what I would say defines a pike. I would say his W helps him set the things up with his Q as an E, and it helps him give him a break to activate his passive. Honestly, I think his kit is really well made. Then, death from below. Pike blinks to and executes low health enemies, allowing him to cast this spell again and grant additional gold to an ally who assists. So... I hate this ability, but love it at the same time. So it, it is a bit more difficult to land than other abilities. It's not just a big circle. It's not a little area. It's not a point and click. It is a AOE that is an X that is both bigger and harder to hit than what you're thinking, but it's also easier at the same time because no one expects to dodge an X. Everyone expects to dodge a circle. They're just like, get out of the range. But the X is not like that. The X is, hey, um, the way you picked uh i'm still there so now you're dead the thing that i hate about it honestly is i hate executions uh ergot's alt and pike's alt in my opinion are bullshit 
Uh, I don't think there should ever be an ability that's just like, hey, you do this and you die. I understand with Urgot you have to land the skill shot and you have to get them beneath 10% HP, but then uh, landing a skill shot really isn't the most difficult thing in the world, and that's a very fast skill shot, so it, it's not that bad. There's, it's pretty bad. And this is basically the same. You, you can't tell if you're in death range. He can only tell if you're in death range. He can, like he has a little uh, marker on your health bar when his alt is up that says, hey, if they're beneath this, they're going to die. Um, landing it is not an impossible task. As I said, it's kind of difficult because it's an X, so you, you're trying to aim in a different manner than usual. But at the same time, the fact that you can just blink to someone, kill them, and then repeat this process if you actually kill them it is kind of insane in my opinion. Uh, and honestly, a pike's alt is the number one thing that differentiates a pike from any other uh, pike. Uh, from a good pike from a bad pike. Because you'll be playing and a bad pike will miss an alt or time it too soon or just something along the line and it's like, wow, this pike sucks. And then the good pike will execute the entire enemy team with one R, and you're just standing there like, how do you even line the fuck that up? Like, what in the world just happened? So it, it is honestly really confusing to me with, like, some shit that happens with that, but, um... But I, I don't like the fact that it is a flat-out execution. I would prefer it if it was just, you know, max HP damage or percent missing HP damage. But, it, it's fine, I guess. Honestly, I really wouldn't buff or nerf Pike. I will say that when Pike first came out, I would have nerfed the ever-living fuck out of him. But then I would have buffed him right afterwards because they nerfed the ever-living fuck out of him. So, um, he became really useless and then really good and then really useless and really good. So he's, he's like in a good middle ground right now where he's still good because of his R, but at the same time, he's not the first pick of a lot of teams, in my opinion. I do like the fact that he's the first and only support assassin where you pick this person in the intention of stealing kills and it's okay <laughs> because if you would steal kills and like as any other support your entire team's going to be like what the fuck is wrong with you but yeah his Q makes it very um, easy to land his E if you land the pool or you can also do stun someone with your E and then slow them right after it was with your Q if you're stuck in a sticky bind you can hit your W get a little bit of distance heal that uh heal that up because you're out of vision uh so you can get behind some with your W things along this line you could just do like a little Q and then dash behind them basically the way you want to play Pike is you don't want to initiate a fight unless you have a pool and even then you don't want to use your e directly on that pool because the entire enemy team can jump on you and they will kill you in about half the time that it will take your team to kill whoever you pulled um why because you can't increase your health at all and uh, yet again why i think it's a little stupid but I would say that Pike's number one goal is to be an assassin. He wants to pick people off and he wants to deal damage. He wants to whittle you down a little bit by landing some hooks and then out of nowhere just all in you and then you just disappear off the face of the earth. Um, it is a little bit annoying in my opinion, but at the same time it is pretty cool and I do think it, it is a good setup. Now, as I personally do not play him... Um, I'm not going to be able to give you the best advice. Uh, and honestly, I, he and Bard, I believe, are the... There might be one other champion that I genuinely really don't have a change for. Um, as I said, I don't like his W, so I, I, I like if that could be changed, I guess. But uh, his entire kit flows really well with each other. Everything leads into something else, and everything benefits something else in some way, shape, or form. Nothing seems like an odd ability out that really doesn't fit or something along that line. And as I said, I don't like the fact that his R is an execute, but at the same time, I don't think it would have a part of the effect that it has if it wasn't. Um, I don't know how else to describe that. Where, like, if it just did missing health damage, I don't think it would have the same extent. Um, do I like that? No, but yet again, like, I, I do think that Pike needs that to stay Pike. I think that if they did take his execute away from him that would honestly be the number one thing that just kills any pike player and they'll make them just not want to play him anymore um so yeah honestly i wouldn't change anything about pike and i love his little blade like i i don't know why but like i just think this is the coolest fucking blade in the entire game okay base skin 
Sand Wraith Pike. I don't really think it was a good skin to start off with for Pike, but I do really like it. Blood Moon Pike is fantastic, and Project Pike. All of these skins are honestly just really amazing in my opinion. I actually really don't like how this one looks too much because it's part of like the whole set of broken people. But at the same time, I do still think it looks cool. I just wish it was a little bit more together, kind of like the other projects. But it is understandable because the whole aesthetic is he's broken. And they've, they've been like betrayed and left for dead. So obviously they're not going to be like top of the line shit. Um, of my favorite skins, it is without a doubt Blood Moon. My second favorite would honestly be his base skin. My third favorite would be Project, and then after that, I would do Sand Wraith. As I said, I really didn't think that was a good skin to start off with him. Blood Moon, because it's Blood Moon, and fucking Blood Moon skins are amazing. Um, and then I, as I said, I really like his regular aesthetic, and I absolutely love this blade for some apparent reason. I, I just love this blade. Uh, then there's the whole project sandwich. As I said, if, if he looked a little bit more put together or if they made a chroma of this skin of him being more put together, I'd like this skin a lot more. And Sandwraith is Sandwraith. It, it's an, it's an okay skin. But, um, yeah. So that has been Pike. Uh, I'm sorry that I really didn't have more to say about him, but I, I do like his kit. I do think he's really well made. And I did think that he deserved a lot of the first nerves he got. And... I think, honestly, that like where he's at right now is probably one of the most balanced he's ever going to be. I'm, I'm sorry to anyone who I just drastically offended. But yeah, so I'm going to thank you all very much for watching, and I'm going to bid you all adieu. Please leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Kids screaming